Let's now shift our focus to South Africa. What's happening there? It has proposed a controversial tourism plan that could threaten the very thing it aims to protect, the wildlife, rhinos in particular. South Africa, you see, is proposing allowing tourists to use rhino horn powder within its borders for its claimed medicinal effects. It is part of a wider strategy designed to get more economic value from the country's rich wildlife. It is a part of its 10-year national biodiversity economy strategy. Another goal of this plan is to enable the primarily black communities to benefit economically. The goal is to bring financial benefits for black communities as they have historically been excluded from the white dominated wildlife and conservation industry. South Africa's Environment Minister Barbara Creasy told news outlet Financial Times that the proposals were a way of ensuring that people in rural areas have an incentive for conservation. The logic is this. If the poorer sections of society, those who live around game reserves, were excluded, they would resort to land invasions and poaching. South Africa's plan to boost its economy and help the local community is praiseworthy, but we cannot help but ask a very pertinent question. Are we forgetting something very important in all of this? That rhinos are an endangered species. Is it really okay to sell rhino horn powder to help the economy if it involves endangered animals? Wildlife conservation experts have flagged this as well. They say that this approach to conservation looks interesting on paper, but that may not translate into workable solutions. You see, South Africa is home to roughly 80% of the world's wild rhinos, and this includes black rhinos, classified as critically endangered. They say at least 450 rhinos were poached last year. But they already know that. The South African government's plan acknowledges the international support for a ban on trade of rhino horn. Still, it suggests that South Africa explore innovative approaches when it comes to domestic trade. The strategy document, in fact, includes allowing initiatives like health clinics to administer traditional re remedies using rhino horn for health tourists from the Far East. The controversial plan also suggests ivory carving being done locally for local sale and export for personal use. This plan has been approved by South Africa's cabinet, but is out for public consultation and prior to its implementation. Naturally, South Africans are divided on this. After all, do we have solid proof that rhino horn powder actually helps with health issues? You see, there is a big contradiction here between South Africa's position that rhino horn had no medicinal properties and its proposal to market it for medical tourism. Rhino horn is made of keratin, the same protein that helps form human hair, nails, skin. But in traditional Chinese medicine, it is believed to be a cure for fevers and snake bites. More recently, it has even been proposed as treatment for some forms of cancer. Since there is no proof of its medical benefits, really, critics have called South Africa's plan a crude form of extractive conservation. The proposed move to sell powdered rhino horn is highly controversial, especially given the rampant poaching and hunting that already threatens rhino populations. Further, legalizing the sale of rhino horn powder could potentially increase demand as it could be seen as a legitimization of its use. This could also encourage more poaching in order to meet the demand. Further, endangering rhino populations. And let's not forget, it also undermines conservation efforts. South Africa and other countries have been investing significant resources into conservation efforts to protect rhinos from poaching. Legalizing the sale of rhino horn powder could undermine these efforts by sending mixed messages about the value of rhino conservation. Perhaps instead of pursuing a strategy that involves selling rhino horn powder, there should be more effective and sustainable conservation strategies, plans that prioritize protection of rhino populations and their habitats without resorting to commercial exploitation. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.